We are staying on top of the developing story out of San Jacinto County this morning where law enforcement is still hunting for a suspected gunman. Want to get over to breaking news anchor Megan Mitchell. What is the latest this morning, Megan? Yeah, good morning to you, Mark. And this morning we know that that manhunt is continuing for Francisco Oropesa, who police say killed five people, including a young boy in southeast Texas with an AR-15 style rifle. Also this morning, we have some new information we want to get to. So first up, the FBI is sharing this wanted poster. It shows several different mug shots of Oropesa through the years and some close up shots of his tattoos. There is, by the way, an $80,000 reward in this case. We have also learned that a source close to the investigation tells ABC News Oropesa has been deported four times back to Mexico, most recently in 2016. Hundreds of law enforcement officials are now searching for this man with no indication of exactly where he is. And the fear is real for so many people to our south. A possible sighting of Oropesa sent multiple schools near Conroe, which is about 20 miles west of the shooting, into lockdown. But the man spotted walking here was not the man accused of murder. Also an update to the victims in this shooting. There were four adults and one child. All of them were from Honduras. Their immigration status is irrelevant. They were innocent victims shot to death in their Texas home. But in a Sunday tweet, Governor Abbott called them all illegal immigrants. Now the governor's office has walked this back, saying, quote, we've since learned at least one of the victims may have been in the United States legally. We regret if the information was incorrect and detracted from the important goal of finding and arresting the criminal. Now, that statement was from the governor's spokesperson. It was not from the governor himself. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more today. Back to you, Kara.